Hi, I'm Pete with Deck Tech Tile. We're out here in Duluth, Minnesota, and today we're going to show you how to set tile up on a elevated roof deck. And I'm with Paul with Northern Home Design, and he's our local Deck Tech Pro. So let's get started. You can see they got a rubber membrane underneath here, and they put some sister joists on top of the uh, rubber roof. Um, and they, they actually had to scribe the bottom to make them become more narrow so they could level out the deck. And once the water drains through the tile, it's going to run down into the drain. Um, so you can see that there's some thick rubber pads here. They're putting underneath the uh, joist, and that holds the joist up off the original rubber roof. Also gives a place for the water to travel underneath the joist and travel down to the drain. It's uh, 32 degrees out. Uh, we're using a uh, Loctite PL500. Uh, that's made for landscaping and it's made to apply in zero degrees or warmer of course And it also is made for wet joists because you can see the joists have water on them. It's been raining snowing whatnot um, So anyway, this is what we're going to use. We're going to go ahead and set our first row here I'm putting plenty of I'm getting far enough ahead here, which in this weather doesn't matter. If it's sunny and 90 degrees out, you may not want to get too far ahead. You don't want your glue to set up before you get your tile on it. So when you place these, these gaps in between the sister joists is where the water drains. So that's roughly where we want to be. Uh, so that the water can drain into the middle of the sister joist. You want to make sure you get variation in colors when you choose your tiles. Gap them roughly, roughly an eighth inch or a little less apart. We just set the first row of tile and we're using this uh, tile straight edge to uh, establish it. We, we kind of adjusted our tiles because there's not a perfectly straight edge here on the wall. And now we're just adjusting the space between the tiles. We're making it just a little bit less than one eighth of an inch. The reason we're starting against the house is we want a full tile over there. Um, because over here you'll see um, that it's curved and we're going to be cutting a curve there. So that's where we want all the cuts. We want all the tiles to remain full tiles. So to get started here, uh, first I want to just show you what kind of roof deck we're setting this on. This is a rubber membrane and it it all drains down to over here where the drain is and you can see the carpenter put sister joists together here and it's a full two by six here but over here you see that it's cut like a triangle and it's cut thinner so that this can remain level underneath i don't know if you can see it in the camera but there's these thick epgm quarter inch rubber pads that we put underneath the uh, joists and that elevates the joists off the rubber roof so it doesn't damage your roof and let the water flow through it. And I wanted to give you one quick tip on how to lay out a deck. So if you notice here this deck was laid out with about an 11 inch cut on this side and the same cut over there about 11 inch. And we do that for looks, and that's considered the most professional way to set a tile. So when this was framed up, the carpenter knew that, and he framed a 16 inch on center and then 11 inch side pieces to, to encompass the whole deck. This little uh, triangle piece I cut for here, this, this deck curves out in front of it, so we gotta put our little triangle piece and then it gets wider as we go along. But I wanted to point out to you that when you have this small piece, you have to make sure you put some extra 2x4 bracing underneath it to hold the whole thing because narrow pieces like this cannot hold the weight of a human being and they'll, they'll break. We're going to glue that and then it'll be glued to the whole thing and it won't, won't break. Just like that. And then we put this piece in there and it's supported under the whole thing. The big ones can hold the weight, but small pieces like this cannot hold the structural weight, so that's why you have to do that. 
And right over here, you see another example where we're gonna have a narrow piece. We have put another two by four frame underneath it. And that's exactly what you gotta do when you get narrow pieces or angled pieces. Okay, so you can see here, uh, we had this column that was built after the deck was built. So the column shoots out into the deck. So we had to take extra two by fours treated and screw them to the back there to bring it out so that we have something to rest on here because you can't span, you, you can't set this on air. So anyway, you have to add some extra pieces in wherever you need it. And then also you see that uh, the tile doesn't come quite to there. So I cut this little piece at an angle. You have to be careful not to break it. And uh, then it's just gonna go in there like that. So anyway, we're wrapping this up here. I wanna thank Paul with Northern Home Design letting us come out and video this install of this elevated deck that has uh, waterproofing under it. So it's actually a rooftop deck. I guess that's a wrap. See you next time.